Should babies be allowed in the House of Commons? Well, what's more important, the answer to the question or the fact that we're all having that discussion? This morning, all over the news was a discussion how Miss Stella Creasy, who had come into the House of Commons with her three-month-old baby in a baby wrap, was told that she's no longer permitted, or no one's permitted, to bring a baby into the House of Commons. And I look at this picture, this picture of this young mum with her baby wrapped around her, debating for her constituents. And I'm reminded of what I imagined to be that moment with the first year, the first time where women had a vote. Can you imagine people opening up their newspapers and blasted across the front page would be giant pictures of women queuing up for the first time in their lives to be able to vote. And I imagine the deep set emotion, the thrill, the excitement, the choking at the throat as people looked at this picture. And I don't have to imagine so much these emotions because I feel them too when I click on my phone and my screen fills with a picture of a mother and her baby as she's doing her work and fighting for her constituents. And there's that image. And again, there's the thrill, there's the emotion, there's the choking up at the throat. And I know there's a discussion and debate and is it right and is it wrong and professionalism and family life and work life and there's so much debate and discussion going on all over the media and social media. And I'm reminded of a time where I first felt that deep emotion. It was the first time I was an 18 year old girl that I stepped into a woman's Beit Midrash, a study hall for women. And as I walked in, I saw a row of women sitting and studying, their Talmuds open in front of them, their age old books scattered around them. And in their arms, they were holding small babies. And I suddenly had a deep sense of synergy where this world and that world, the world of being a mom and the world of being a scholar, being an MP, being a worker in the workforce suddenly seemed to correlate and go together. And I felt that thrill. I felt that deep emotion. If we as a planet, if we as a Jewish community deeply value ideals of having children, building the world, and at the same time deeply value the values of giving opportunities to women and allowing women to develop themselves in the workforce and in the er their chosen area of work, then it's so, so thrilling. It's so exciting that these conversations are taking place. And the fact that we're standing and debating and discussing is such an exciting step forward. I hope that Stella Creasy realizes that she's not just an image of debate, discussion, and sometimes ridicule and derision, but rather she is a pioneer who's holding the torch forward for us. And I look towards her with respect and excitement because I can't wait to see where this conversation is gonna go. Mm -hmm.